Hello, Internet. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, good news. I am now doing this for at least a quarter of my income with room to grow that. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you have contributed financially to my coaching career already. If you have not and you're interested, please go check out the Patreon. For 50 bucks, you get a full 20-minute form of you. Honestly, those usually push into 30 minutes or beyond. Um, you also get my tech support for a month um, on the Discord channel and up to one video check-in where you can send me video questions or send me more clips of your form and check that your throw is progressing or you're doing a drill right or something, whatever you need. Um, so it's a steal for 50 bucks. Um, everyone I've worked with so far has been very satisfied with how much of my time they've gotten for their money. So please go check that out if you're interested. Um, and if you're just here for my friend, the lawnmower, that's cool too. Um, so we're looking at the, the pull the lawnmower start queue thing. Like it's kind of not good is kind of the consensus. Um, and yet it gets thrown around a lot. So we're going to look at why that's not a good cue according to me and how we could make it a better cue and what the big part of that is that we're missing and then how to integrate that into the off arm movement as a whole um, curveball on that last one <clears throat> so right starting a lawnmower just grab the cord and pull as hard as you can and the disc will go far right so let's let's try that let's see what happens right well it doesn't work very good apparently what am I doing wrong, right? Ask the five-year-old and they're saying, you're not putting your hand on the handle. So this is not a balanced motion. There's no balance here. There's no push and pull, right? So what I need to make this work is I need a post. I need a push from my offhand. And once I do that, then we get power, right? So every motion needs to have, hi, Shadow, you wanna be famous on the internet? <laughs> it's the dog working. So you need a push and a pull to make any motion centered. Um, that's why the little children doing karate have a pull and a push when they do their forms, right? This is a centered motion because there's a pull and a push. A Superman punch in MMA, there's a push and another push that are opposed, right? Every athletic motion is going to have two things to it. So there's a push from the rear leg in your brace, and then a push from the front leg in your brace, a push from the rear leg going into the brace, I should say. So there's two opposed motions that create a spiral. Same thing with your offhand. If you punch through, there's no opposition. You are getting kind of a bonus effect in terms of rotational speed of the shoulders by punching this hand through but you're not what you're not doing is you're not establishing a center and establishing a center is very important um, if you look at the head movement video same idea in head movement if i take too big of a neck step let my head come back and then bring my head forward with my torso there's no center in that movement i'm taking my center and i'm having it drift forward so what we want to do with the head instead is sight find a center out during your reach back and then keep the head on center while the throw happens and then the off hand brings the head up so the whole thing sight lose sight stay centered and come back up so we want to do the same thing we're doing with our head there in that drill go check out that video with the off arm so just like we did here where we're extending and pulling to create balance we're going to do that without the handle there. So the off hand is gonna swing up, not so much behind you because you're not using it to drive shoulder rotation, you're just using it to find center. Up behind you, reach back happens. This comes down towards, I like to cue people that it's trying to come here just outside of your right thigh. It won't get there, but what it will do when it gets close is it'll max out and start coming down on its own and that'll be in time so this moving backwards will be in time with your left side coming forward so those that's the same it's very similar to superman punch but that's actually how you would power a round kick in kickboxing hi sweetheart
This is the other dog. This is Inca. We're fostering her from my old work. And she wants to be famous on the internet too, don't you? Yes, you do, lady. Okay, run along now. <laughs> okay, so I know, sweetie, I know, I know, I know, I know. But now I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, I know, honey. Okay, so we want the offhand to come up and down. So the whole thing's gonna be four beats. One, two, three, four. Uh, then the, that's the idea part of it. Then the drill part of it is this. So you're gonna take your, find a, a nice neutral stance, let your arms swing at 90 degrees to each other. So if I turn this whole assembly 45 degrees, this arm is moving straight towards the camera and this moving is straight flat 90 degrees from the camera. So I'm just doing this. I'm gonna turn that so I'm facing back at the camera again. So I have two 90 degree angles and I'm gonna let this swing influence my hips. So I'm not here, right, with no hip movement. I'm letting the swing move my hips. And all I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna pick up, in this timing, I'm gonna pick up my left arm and drop it down towards my right foot. I'm gonna do that at a time where it's going to accelerate the throwing arm a little bit. So what it looks like is this, get loose, let your hips pump the movement, pick it up, drop it. So I'm not really changing my input on my front side at all, on my throwing hand. I'm only changing the input from the back. And then I'm just gonna feel how that changes the motion. And what it, what it does is it adds more tension across the back here and a little more shoulder rotation so that I get projection out the front, right? So that's all you're trying to do. And then the one thing you would add to that in the context of a full throw is you would try to get that motion in as tight as you can. So there's a little bit of a gather, right? Um, Drew really, really shoots down like this. Paul, oftentimes, not always, does kind of more of a swing in, a punch in. Um, all you want is to be going from wide to tight, right? After you start rotating. So you start rotating and then pull in just like the whole ice skater thing, right? Hopefully I don't have to explain that. Um, that's all you need. Garrett Gerthy does the same thing. He just does it behind him. It's, it, physics doesn't care where it goes. Physics doesn't care if you're doing the Swedish thing and it's totally off axis, doesn't matter. As long as you're going from wide to tight, it will accelerate the turn. And as long as you're getting everything tight, you'll be able to spin faster on the spot, hopefully behind an aggressive brace without a lot of drift forward. So that's the drill, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.